right, here we go. Everything you need to know about winning the lottery using your subconscious mind, the law of attraction, and quantum theory. So everybody's been messaging me. It seems like everybody wants to know about the lottery. And Mark just keeps getting just pulled right back into the lottery. So the universe says, all right, Mark, give them what they want. Show them how to do this stuff. Okay, so let's begin. All right. So this is basically a dummy's guide to winning the lottery. How you do it, I'm gonna show you steps by steps and also mistakes I made and how you can avoid them and see the changes that led me to my big wins, okay? So first step is many of you may say, Mark manifested the lottery. Actually, I didn't manifest the lottery. What happened was I shifted into a reality where my numbers were already a winner. So let's begin our crash course on a dummy's guide to win the lottery using subconscious mind, law of attraction, and quantum theory. First rule of first rule of, of the lesson or thumb is this is the first important rule. Mindset. Mindset, mindset, mindset. You have to believe that you can win. You have to believe it's possible. So that's the first step that I had to convince myself. And I believe it was possible for me because of quantum theory and the subconscious mind. We'll get into that in a little bit. So first believe it's possible. Next rule of thumb is odds don't count. Repeat that. The odds don't matter. We have been conditioned to believe in the odds and the probabilities. Here's the secret to winning and manifesting the lottery. All you have to do is have the universe put you in the right place at the right time. It has nothing to do with odds. Let that one sink in. Next rule of thumb is looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving. Just because, just because you can't see it in your current reality doesn't mean it's not manifesting in the spiritual or the invisible reality. Repeat that. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. That one is a very, very crucial uh, rule of thumb. Next rule of thumb when it comes to winning the lottery or using your law of attraction in the subconscious mind. Don't focus on the how. It's not about the how. It's about the when. I repeat that. When it comes to winning or manifesting the lottery, it's never about how you're going to win. It's about when you're going to win. Now, for, for anything else you're manifesting, you have to, you know, there's how it's going to be involved. But the lottery is pretty straightforward. Look, I buy my ticket, and that's how I know I'm going to win, right? So the how is not important. The when. But here's the issue now with the when. The when doesn't exist. Repeat that. The when doesn't exist. What is Mark talking about? Now we move into the next law of quantum theory. All right. So the reason why the when doesn't exist is because time doesn't exist. Linear time is not real. So now that takes me into the quantum theory, which brings us into what's called the multiverse or the parallel realities. So the reason why when doesn't matter, because here's the next rule of thumb, you've already won. Not only you've already won, but you've won infinite amount of times. Hmm. What does Mark mean by that? Check this out. There exists multiple realities where your numbers have already won. If you get a quick pick ticket, in a reality those numbers have won. If you get a dream of a number, in a reality those numbers have already won. So the time is an illusion. So I never focus on when I'm going to win. I, have, I just know I've already won. So I put myself in a vibrational match to reach that point of attraction or what you call manifestation. Okay? Keep that in mind. Next rule of thumb, the more you don't care, the more you're going to win. The more you don't care, the more it's going to draw you closer to that manifestation. How does that work? 
it works with the law of detachment. So I'll give an example with me. So I'm there now and I'm playing the lottery, right? I'm manifesting this big win. And for months, nothing was happening. Then my mind just kept nagging me and I got fed up with it. And I just said to myself, all right, I'm done. I'm not gonna hold on to this stuff anymore. I'm still gonna buy my tickets, but I'm not gonna take it that seriously. I'm just gonna put it in the back burner. During that time, within three months of doing that, I won. Prior to that, like eight, nine months, nothing happened. It's when I finally stopped caring, I manifested that big win. The next rule of thumb when it comes to Dummy's Guide for Winning the Lottery using your subconscious mind is allow the universe to play with you. Allow the universe to play the game with you. And what do I mean by that? Although I was focusing on manifesting the lottery, I wasn't focusing on other ways it could come in for me. See, I didn't allow the universe to come in and open other channels for me. Once I tweaked that and I decided, I said, okay, I want to win the lottery, but I'm also going to leave the door half open so if the universe want to bring it to me another way. That created harmony, therefore I manifested the lottery. When you're going to play, play to win, but also play with the acknowledgement that in the back of your mind, the universe is open for you to win. Next rule of thumb when it comes to winning the lottery, you have to believe it, then you will see it. It's not when you see it, you're going to believe it. You have to see the win before the win. So let me show you what I mean by that. When I was playing, I intuitively knew that I would win and I intuitively knew I've already won because of quantum theory. Quantum theory states that there has to be a possible reality outcome where I'm a winner. That gave me the confidence and that built my belief. So I already had won. Do you see how that works? That's very powerful to understand. Once I did that, my alignment started to come together. I started to notice I'm winning more consistently and my prices were getting higher and higher. That's when the light bulb went off and I said, oh man, this is what I'm doing. I'm actually switching realities to where I've already won. Okay? Next rule of thumb, you got to visualize it to get it. You have to see it in the mind to bring it into reality. That's where the main point came to this. And here's, a, here's another key component. Well, did you know that when you're visualizing the lottery, you're also visualizing a parallel version where you've already won? That's what you're creating. You're, you are actually previewing where you already won. And I was doing that, but I didn't know that until now because I studied more on quantum theory. So visualizing the lottery goes like this. I saw, let me, let me give you my picture how, how, for me personally, this is how it went for me. I would visualize myself in a store. I'm checking my ticket. The ticket says top prize. I'm going down to buy my car cash. I paid the guy the cash. I took the first, I, when I got my car, the first place I took it to, I took it to the car wash. I washed it up a little bit, shined it up, and I had already bought some stuff before I even won. I bought a car cover steering wheel. I bought fragrances that I had up to nine months because I knew I would win. And I took those things and I put them in the very car I've manifested. All of this was previewing in my mind up to months, almost up to a year, because it took about one, was it 12, 13 months from the point of from the point of deciding to win. For about nine to ten months, I had stuff already prepared for a car that I didn't have, a lottery win that I didn't have, but I knew through quantum theory I already won. I had my little steering wheel cover, put it on my car, and my little air freshener, and I even had uh, I think I had a CD player because I love those old school CD players and I had a CD player and I even had a CD music of my one of my favorite songs and I, I was going to play that music when I won and that's exactly what happened. All of those things came to, to, light, to light. The next thing 
it's a trippy universe. The lot winning the lottery is a trippy universe. What do I mean by that? What you visualize will come to pass. How do you think if I felt when I went to check that ticket and every single thing in my mind was replaying in real life? Does anyone ever experience that? If you do, it's a it changes your whole outlook on life. Nothing now becomes real anymore. Now I understand what the world and the universe really is. Everything came to pass. And that's when I realized, wow, this quantum theory stuff is the truth. See how that works? Next lesson point in all of this is, if you're going to play, you gotta believe it could happen. Right? That takes us to the first, to the first point. You have to already believe it's gonna happen. And that's what I did. I believed it would happen. The most trippiest point in all of this was the actual reality of experiencing what I did in my mental reality. At one point, my mind, my mind lapsed. I was in a state of you could call it canatonic shock where I couldn't, it was, my brain was filtering and trying to make sense of this world because it happened exactly the way I saw it. And that's what's, that's what's gonna happen for you. So you see, when you come in and win the lottery, you have to open the universe. You have to go into a parallel universe. You have to go into the multiverse. Because remember, the odds don't exist. Now here's the thing, here's the interesting thing about this. I'll put an asterisk to this. The odds don't count unless you believe they count. Now repeat that. The odds don't count unless you believe they count. So, what happens is the universe splits off into these different universes. Where in one universe is by the odds, in another universe is just by actuality, in another universe is just by being in the right place at the right time. You gotta ask yourself what universe you wanna be in. See, I was in the universe that put me in the right place at the right time. At first, I was in the universe of odds and probabilities and I understood quantum theory, and boom, that's when everything changed and I kept winning. You can do the same.